the reason I bought these rather than just tie a Beckett hitch, which I prefer by the way, I can't tie knots with this finger or what's left of it. Yeah, so I can't tie knots, so I've got to use gadgets. Anyone who does know me from his channel will know I'm notoriously difficult to please. Kit that other people absolutely love, I buy and think it's terrible. So what the hell is someone as fussy as me going to make of the Dutchware beetle bottles? A couple of ways you can go about this. You can go hardware free or introduce hardware. I am using carabiners, but you could just as easy go through the loop of the webbing. But I have an injury to my hand, so I will be using these to go around a tree. But these are the beetle bottles here. They'll come in two parts. You'll notice the one on the left, this aperture is much larger than this slit here, the aperture on the right. So you'll need to get this larger aperture and just pop in this one onto your webbing first. And the piece with the smaller aperture we put onto the webbing also, ensuring that they're both in the same direction. And the reason we put the big aperture piece on first is this webbing needs to come back over itself and through the larger aperture. Now once this task is complete, you won't need to do this each and every time. This will be it on. So let's tidy all that up. I did say I was going to introduce a carabiner onto the fixed loop of the webbing here and that is because trying to pass the beetle bottle through the webbing it's doable but when you're out in the field it's not this easy so you can go carabiner or carabiner less but because I have an injury to this finger I've got no use of this finger or sensation and I need all the help I can get so there you go I have one there and another here in two different colors and that's only because I can't find their mates but other than that they're identical beaners so my setup of the beetle bottles for the reasons given my injury I've had to find a different approach to do the same thing one-handed and I have so unlike Dutch who will show you a two-handed method of adjusting it mostly I can do it all one-handed so to adjust how high and low you want your hammock is this strap here now I have watched Dutch over on his website show you how to do it but I think there's an easier way this is the suspension here in my left hand my hand that you'll see on the right I allow to hang underneath rather than trying to adjust it with the excess here on top so there's the first thing now this will raise your height of your hammock to lower it I can grab the beetle bottle in my fingers ensuring it's pointing at the sky and literally just pull the hammock down I'm not even touching the tail here to lower it just beetle bottle to the sky and move it away from the tree again grab the beetle bottle and pull the strap towards the tree to raise it 
This method I think is a lot easier than even Dutch was showing. Lower and get it higher as quick as that. Albeit I've made a hash of making it look more difficult than it is. So we are going to see how much they are and we're going to separate fact from opinion. 17.9 grams per piece. So that equates to 0 0.63 of an ounce. Now, being in the UK, I was educated in grams. So I hope what I said there, the, the conversion to ounces makes some sort of sense. For a fussy bugger like me, if I do use hardware, I don't want it to be heavy. Dutch is selling these at $21 US. And he's brought that price down from $25 if I was to buy them from the UK and then import them, I'd have import tax and postage. I found a buyer in the UK, but he wanted 41 pounds, which is, as you can see, it's more than double, more than double what they're worth. But I've had the tax and postage paid for me and a quicker delivery time. So if you're in the UK, you've got to weigh up whether you're prepared to wait and pay the tax or let somebody else pay the tax and pay more. Do they work? Of course they do. And the thing is, the adjustment ability on it is brilliant. I can just hold with my good hand and then bring the hammock lower and pull the strap with one hand and make it higher, which means I can center the hammock as well as the tarp from left to right between the trees. Overall, what do I think of beetle bottles? I like them a lot, pricey because they're made of titanium. If I had to buy them again, would I? I think I would, I think I would. I'm really impressed. They're light, they're strong because of titanium. They're just pricey uh, for a Brit, anyway. It's a product I wished I'd have bought years ago, years and years ago, because they're not new to a market or anything, Beetle Bottles. I'm just putting my two penny worth in and sticking this video on the end of all the other hundreds of people who've done videos on beetle bottles. Once you buy it, you'll have them for the rest of your life and you don't have to worry about it ever again. But you've heard my opinions and I've given you the facts. All I can do now is wait for this hand to heal and see if I'll ever be able to tie a knot again. At the moment, I can't even do my shoelaces. So I am gonna wrap it up here. And like I said, thanks for joining me on this. Again, I hope some of it has been of assistance to you. And I will see you next time. Happy trails.